Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Nerd Age, where we discuss everything nerdy and talk about everything nerdy. I'm your host, Mick, and today, tonight, I'm joined by Josh. What's up? Corey. Hello, hello. And (laughs) Jonah. Hey, guys. (laughs) What's going on, guys? Not much. Just another week. Another week. Another week is gone. You were a little more uh, enthusiastic on the opening there. You yeah, were, I'm like, trying. You fired up. I'm trying new things. <laughs> yeah. I've listened to the last couple and I've just been like, man, I, I suck. I, <laughs> oh my I gotta be better. better. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. I could do better. <laughs> I'll try to match your intensity. Yeah, so you guys, guys need to match. Like, wow, we're here with the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How was your guys' week? Mm. Do anything fun? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what did you do, Chip? I, uh, <laughs> Tuesday night, uh, I drove to, well, and during the day, I drove to Missoula, Montana, <laughs> three and a half hours there. Exciting. Went to a concert and then drove three and a half hours back after the concert. Need so, to breathe? Yep. Need nice. to breathe. Nice. I've heard they're really good. They're live. really they're good. They're super good yeah. live. Nice. And then I didn't know Switchfoot was opening for him. So what? I was like, oh. Oh, I freaking love Switchfoot. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Like like yeah, yeah it's okay. Bands. Josh didn't tell me either that he was yeah, going. Oh, yeah, I did. Apparently. I said, I said, hey, I got tickets to the Need to Breathe concert in Missoula. Do I need to say? No. Do I need to invite you? No, no, no. You said, "Hey, can you uh, can you let no. my dogs in at nine at night tomorrow?" I was like, "Yeah, where are you guys going?" They're like, "Oh, we're going to Missoula to need to breathe." I was like, "Oh, okay." No, I told you when I bought the tickets. Maybe you did. I yeah. just probably forgot. I, I was like, well, Melissa said the same thing. She was like, "And you didn't tell us." I'm like, yeah, "I know, right?" And then when she commented that, you're like, "I told you when you got the tickets." I was like. Eh, maybe he did. I just yeah. don't remember. I remember having the kids. We were like, man, I don't know when they're going to come back to Spokane, so I'm going to have to go to mm-hmm. Missoula. Fair so, enough. Yeah, in your eye. <laughs> but yeah, they're awesome. they're awesome live. Nice. That's cool. I've only been to one concert ever. Which and one? it was Mute Math. That's, that's a, good, a, that's that's a, a good, pretty good one to go. That that's it. a great concert. Good started out on a high note, finished on a high note. You've never gone to any other concert. Mute Math's no. the only like one. Like, you're not counting, like, kids' orchestra of <laughs> concerts. Like kids play. Right? Let's say like, professional. Professional Yeah, that's concert. the only one. You haven't been to one of Jonah's concerts? Mm-hmm. Yeah, have I play you, all the time, dude. a concert? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> then I've been my to, shows are concerts. I've been to a he was at He was there on Friday at, at my concert. concert. Yeah. yeah. At, a good concert. At the little taps yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> A one man concert. Happy trails to Bruce. Happy shout trails. Out, shout out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Happy Trails to Bruce. Wait, hold hey. on, hold on, hold oh. on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That'll wake you up. Yeah, we got. Yeah, it'll wake, wake you up. You know down. what? That place is actually really cool because yeah, Jonah had a uh, a concert there, um, <laughs> and we went there, said hi, and uh, man, I I totally didn't know that there was a place that had like um, it was it's a pretty small place, yeah. but. Um, you know, they got some brews, you know, you can bring your own food and stuff like that. But they also have, like, a bunch of board games you can, like, just they borrow. Have a lot of board games. So I was like, oh, dude, I love places like that. And yeah. so I'm glad I found it, even though it's been here for, like, a couple of years yeah, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think, like, three years. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> Shows how much I go out. Um, yeah. But, yeah, no, that's cool. That is pretty cool you could bring your own food, though. Like, mm-hmm. I've seen people bring in, like, Costco pizzas and yeah. McDonald's. And yeah. You guys brought in, uh, like, a barbecue yeah, JJ's, restaurant. JJ's, next yeah. Shout out to JJ's. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're not sponsoring us. Not yet. Well, yeah, but not we yet. we would love to be I mean, sponsored by them. Next week, Man, we'd I love do, to be eating brisket we, <laughs> while we're doing the podcast. <laughs> JJ's is some of my favorite food in Spokane, so yeah, yeah, we do love JJ's. That sandwich looked pretty good that you were devouring. It was very difficult to eat, but it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. What about you, John? Did you do? I played a oh, concert. Yeah, yeah. Concert, yeah. concert on Friday. Concert. A professional concert, yes. Um, yeah, other than that, just been doing soccer, and that's about it. Nothing. Just, just living life. And nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. Yeah. I guess today we had, my birthday's on Wednesday, so we had an early birthday for me at my house. And I just like, one of my favorite oh. things to do, um, what's up? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speaking oh. of birthday. <laughs> but one of my favorite things to do is like, I'll do, I'll throw like little games for us to play and stuff like that. And so one of the things we've always talked about for the past couple of years is how people would do in like a blind french fry yeah. test basically like how yeah. well can you actually do how how good are your taste buds and so we we did that i don't know how many people did it like 10 people yeah probably, like probably around there it was fun um 
Uh, we got. Do you want me to say all the names and we can do a shout out for each one? <laughs> no, no, we had five. I'm ready on the button. We had I'll five. do it. All right, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> we had five popular uh, fast food chains, and um, and yeah, so we had. F- I think I got two out of five, so just abysmal. Was it pretty difficult? It was. I, it, was it was hard. Yeah, I I, I knew it was going to be difficult, but um, for me, it was way more difficult because like I literally had ah, freaking Burger King. Literally the previous day, so I was like, I'm for sure gonna get burger. <laughs> oh, he's prepping. Yeah. No problem. Got it wrong. What? Yeah. I miss because you think you think you know, man, but you don't, man. I feel like just based on nah. the size no. of no. See, here's their friends no, no, are no. bigger. Here's the thing. I, I realize this because I was going based on size. I was like, I know exactly <laughs> when I'm gonna do Burger King, because Burger King is thicker yeah, than the yeah, other yeah, ones. Yeah. But then you don't you don't have you can't see yeah, they're feeding you the fry yeah. but i think i got fed a, a skinny one. fry yeah. like a small one from burger king but you also yes, got two because fries. then i got when wendy's and burger king mixed up wendy's is a little bit thicker too by right? the way wendy's changed their fry and so they it did threw, yeah we talked threw about me that. off they have no time. skin anymore right yeah. but the thing is yeah they're just normal yeah That's so, so i i got a small fry for burger king and then on the last one it was a thicker fry, so I'm like, this is Burger King. Because this is I the was, thickest one out of all of them. So I was yeah. like, it has to be Burger King. Yeah. And those are the ones I missed. I got yeah. three other ones, right? Yeah. But yeah. I, I flipped Wendy's and Jack in the Box. And the only reason was because I was leaning Jack in the Box for one. But then I was like, I had had Wendy's like three weeks ago for the first time in forever. And I was yeah. like, this really tastes like the Wendy's fry I had back then. Mm. <laughs> and then tough. I was like about to switch them and I didn't. So Dang. boom, only got three. Yeah. But um Shout out to Crystal. Oh, gosh. Not again. <laughs> she got all five right. She, she won the... Well, really? Five Yeah, out she of five. got them all right. Mm-hmm. So Which she, proves... That's impressive. That she eats a lot of fast food fries. Or she's really lucky. Yeah, just lucky. <laughs> yeah. Or lucky, yeah. Because... I don't think so. She, she, she knows her fries. But she... <laughs> I mean, she likes Dairy Queen... Well, yeah, and she, she says Dairy McDonald's. Queen fries are the best ones. Dude, but, by I mean, the way, Not that she has good... By the way... We're not saying she's good. When we were good. tasting these bad boys... When I came up to McDonald's, <laughs> I was like, these are the worst. I think we yeah. all knew that yeah. McDonald's. Everyone knew which Everyone one was McDonald's. Everyone knew it was McDonald's. Like, it was so, so just garbage bland. fry. So you guys very had bland. to guess which place it was from. Did you then yeah. rate? No, 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 no ratings. No ratings. It was just, you. Okay. we were all blindfolded. Um, we had five, really? like one through five. Brie would give us a, um, a French fry, and then you would taste it. And then once everyone ate one, you could have a second one. Once everyone did that, then you would take your blindfold off and write down what you thought and it this, was. Yeah, and this just originated from like people being like, "Yeah, who knows fast food the best? Yeah. Oh yeah, I could totally do it." And yeah. like, so you know what I've come to realize: mm. most fries taste the same and aren't, aren't very good. <laughs> They're pretty similar. Some They're of them all have similar. weird aftertaste. It's all about the sauce. It is all about it's all the about sauce. the ranch. Because really I was like, I was like, man, these ranch? fries are terrible. But I'm like, if I get four of them and I <laughs> and dip I them in some ranch or some fry sauce, yeah. I'm like, oh, these are the greatest <laughs> things it's, ever. I mean, you're basically eating a potato <laughs> wedge. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Zips fries are the best, so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's a local fast food uh, place. Uh, Shout out to I Zips. Disagree. <laughs> I disagree. You don't like Zips fries? I didn't say I didn't like them. Uh, I just think that there's better ones out there. Well, as far as fast food goes, I think Zips is one of the... Chick-fil-A fries are uh, uh, obviously the best for me. I love Chick-fil-A fries. I I like their sauces are the best. You know, I'd give a shout out to (laughs) Chick-fil-A. We're not going to do that anymore. Every time I do it, Corey looks at me like this is the stupidest thing ever. It's going to for the (laughs) Okay, I can only do five shout outs per episode. Okay, I think we've done three already. Okay, you got two more. Okay, two more. So let me know when you actually are serious and you want to do your last two. But it's more for other people. You guys each get five too? No, I got zero. You guys don't want any? I don't want to shout out anyone. I picked that air horn out for, you know, we asked for it. I'll shout people out, but we don't. Okay. Okay. I just think people, people that listen to it, if they hear. Yeah. The yeah, shout like out, Mr. and then Zips. they get, and then <laughs> Mr. Zips here, <laughs> Mr. Zips. or the Chick Fil A people. Okay. If they hear, if they hear a shout out, they're like, "Oh my gosh, it feels good to have that." <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Instead of shout out to, you know, Ray from Chick Fil A. Okay. Hey, you know, I'm I just think saying that would be cool. If little, I got shouted out, and they yeah, would do see? the foreign. That would be cool. Yeah. Shout out to Corey. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, it feels yeah, good, right? That's number four. <laughs> that's my one. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's his one. Yeah, that's right. You guys all get one. I get five because I like it. Oh my word. Uh, I was gonna say five guys, French fries, uh, one of the best. 
Mm. Oh yeah, big okay. time. I'd rather ta- I'd rather eat their the peanuts big. than their French fries. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. What can did you, you say? Can you repeat that? I'd rather eat their peanuts oh, than yeah, their French yeah, fries. Because you go in go. there and you five guys peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Five of say, them. Say five guys peanuts Bro, five times. Five. Jonah, I guarantee five you. Five guys peanuts. Five guys peanuts. Five guys. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two's enough. Blaze it, blaze it. <laughs> Bro, I think if you throw a five guys fry in that taste test, you're like, whoa, this one's what the best. I don't have? think so. I don't think so. All right, we'll have to do it again next year. I do like, uh, I like, now that I think about it, I do like five guys fries. They're double fried. They're nice, dude. They're <laughs> nice. They're a bit more greasy, though, aren't they? They're they super are. greasy. They're, yeah. They give yeah. them to you in that bag, and it, yeah. that bag is like, I mean, they're, well, bur- what they're, are we talking about here, guys? We're talking about fast food, and we're talking about <laughs> grease? We're talking about grease? <laughs> Come Talking on, guys. Prince. All right, you guys want to eat some Impossible Burgers? All right, cool. Go for it. No, I'm just, but I'm I'm just saying, shout out to Burger King. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> they're not the only one. Oh. I just feel like Five Guys, to me, they're really thin they're and not. they're over fried. They're not. Are you they're kidding not super me? Thin. You're wrong. They're thicker than you than the ones we ate today. Yeah. Are you? Ah, nah, you yeah. high, dog. Nah, he high. Maybe I'm thinking of fair fries. Hi, dude. Shout out to Hi, Jonah. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of the fair fries. Yeah, the fair fair fries. fries. Yeah. Ones? Dude, you're talking about shoestring fries, yeah, bro. Yeah, don't yeah, but fries I feel like the aren't those, guys, those are fancy fries. Oh, dude, you got to recalibrate your mind, bro. You think you're uh, a fry man, guy I haven't sort? gone to Five Guys in a long yeah, time because I don't really like them. All right, all right. What about Fat Burger? Uh, no, I'm not a fan of Fat Burger. I've never had it. I don't know if I've ever been to Fat Burger. But I always get those two mixed up. If they sponsor us, two thumbs up. <laughs> Fat burger, nah. I, it, no, it's not Yo, very good. Here, here, okay. Their the French fries are more like Red Robin French fries, but not as good. Like they're the thicker, oh, like the wedge big, like, ones. Yeah, steak fries. The, steak I, fries. Yeah. Their problem with their burgers, though, bro. I don't know. They, they, I think they forgot salt and pepper. Like they don't season them. Yeah, I like no flavor. It's very bland. Just yeah. meat. Yeah. I went there when they first came to Spokane, and I was just like, well, "Why are we paying this much money for these things? I can make better at my house." Expensive, right? Yeah, I mean it's on a higher end. It's, that's a, all. it's like five guys. For, it's like five guys level, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spendy, yeah, more spendy than yeah, McDonald's. more spendy than more, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. although, man, because talk I, to me, John, yeah. talk to me. I grew up, yeah, <laughs> in the street. Oh my I God. grew up. This is gonna be a freaking long story. <laughs> sure when, I was at Whitworth, <laughs> when, I was, like, when I was at when I was at Whitworth, oh, you grew when up. I was in college. Okay, you were born. Now you grew yeah. up. Now you're college. Yeah, okay, now I'm college. That was a journey. I would. Go to school in the morning. Yeah. Had a break. <laughs> you know, would go a- across the street from Whitworth, Jack in the Box, Tough. hit up Jack in the Box, go back to school yeah. for my next class. Tough. On my way up to soccer practice, I would stop either by Jack in the Box again or hit that Zips or the Arby's up there. Sure. And then on my way back, I would eat something else, like fast food. Yeah. And then I would go to Perkins you from 10 to midnight. You had four meals From a day. 10 to midnight. To do the maintenance and clean the bathrooms and all that stuff, and Lauren would make me a Tangler burger Ooh, Tangler and just throw burger. stuff on it. Shout yeah. out to Perkins. So just, <laughs> no, I'm, even, I'm using I'm, one. No. I've got two. I got two left. Shout out to Perkins <laughs> and Lauren, all in one. Okay. Um, so then I'd come home at midnight and do homework, but I'd just have that Tangler, and Chup would be there, and we'd be like, sometimes I'd bring him a Tangler, oh, and we'd wow. watch. Some Dude, dumb, dumb shows or movies yeah, yeah, that were on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be doing my homework. Yeah. And I'd just repeat again. So and I just ate fast food for like four years yeah, straight. Okay. And that's why Jonah had a heart attack. What's the point the of this story? <laughs> that back then I could afford to do it. Now if I go to fast food, it's like, man, it's for a combo meal, I'm paying yeah. like 18 bucks. Well, you gotta pay for two other people. So you well, even uh, if it's just me. Oh. So, th- so this is says a little complaint is about inflation? What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's my we talked about h- higher price, like pricier. Mm, yeah. I'm just saying now, oh, even Jack in the inflation. Box, which was the dog food minimum, yeah, 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 yeah. now I'm paying eighteen dollars because I have to get what my combo and kidding? I have to get my two tacos. And hey, I, listen, the, the And some <laughs> caviar? Like what are you doing, okay. man? Never mind. Eighteen dollars. Let's move on. Let's move on. So for no, the, you have so to say it. For the listeners out there who don't know, we've changed our podcast. We're now the, <laughs> We're the fast, fast food, food boys. fast food nerd age, fast food brothers, fast food age, <laughs> fast food cash. Up with your. Yeah, I was, was just gonna say. say back in the day, Taco Bell was the best value menu. Yeah, You'd yeah, go yeah. there, yeah, yeah, get 100%. those dollar burritos. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Oh, and then the large, loaded, baby. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the loaded Shoot. potato yeah, like burritos. Five of them. You're good. Yeah. I mean, does the yeah. dollar menu exist anymore? On, yeah, it does on place? some places. Taco Bell, Taco Bell still has a dollar menu, but their, their, their if you get their Bro. Chipotle 
chicken stuff. They're terrible. They're like this size. It's pronounced chipotle. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I mean, they're just tiny. You can get like eight nuggets at like Burger King for like a dollar. No, 20. 10 nuggets for a dollar. That's not <laughs> true. I was just there yesterday. <laughs> I was, there a couple, I was there a couple weeks ago. The wild, uh, the the prices deal. changed. Bro. Prices changed. Undermanned, they took bro. away two Inflation. nuggets and they added a quarter to it. <laughs> I mean, it's still dirt cheap. Yeah, no but matter. those those chicken nuggets have made me sick. Hey, they're questionable because that mean, was our go to general boys. Except for like Chick Fil A, they're all questionable. Let's be honest, boys. That's Come fine. on, yeah, that's true. It's the I don't chicken don't paste. Chicken <sighs> it's chicken paste. Yeah, you seen that? That's how it's made and stuff like that. Pink. Yeah, it's it's pink. But it tastes delicious. Yeah, but we don't think about that stuff. Nah, guys. you don't want it. No, no. I'm thinking about that dollar twenty. <laughs> that's you know exactly what, I mean? what I'm and thinking about. How that's gonna fill up my belly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. That's right. That's smart spending. <laughs> smart, smart spending. That's right. Yeah. What else should we be thinking about today, though? We should probably think about some nerd stuff. Yeah, the news, yeah. right? So We're let's, hitting uh, the news. Yeah. Think about yeah. some news. <laughs> All right, here we are with the news. I got to be more excited, right? That guy's awesome. All right. Um, Bring it up to 11. So I've just got a a couple (laughs) things. Um, We're basically just going to go through some of the Netflix stuff that they announced yesterday. There's some cool stuff this week, actually. Um, Yeah, yeah, they did like their fan fan event. Was it or Tudum? I don't know what it was. It's spelled Tudum. Yeah, Tudum. Tudum. Um, They announced a bunch of Witcher news. So they announced, Mm. they dropped the trailer for season two. Um, They announced the, the season three was gonna they greenlit season three um they announced um the i think it was the first look at the witcher blood origin um which is the prequel series and then they announced um a witcher anime film um i don't know if you guys want to talk any about thing about the witcher um i assumed it's been doing well so season three is kind of like a no-brainer yeah which is super knows. popular yeah yeah so, that so makes sense yeah they announced that kind of stuff um the Stranger Things trailer dropped, um, I guess, another teaser. It's not really the trailer, um, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys watched it. Um, I, I watched it. It was pretty creepy, actually. Really? It was. It seems to be going more to, horror. like, the horror. Yeah. Like, it's like a haunted house. What was it called? The Creel House? Yeah. I thought, I thought it was a great trailer because you don't know really what the plot of this season right. will be, but it just seemed perfect for the show yes the atmosphere of the show nice Uh, so it's it's basically a family um you didn't watch it right i didn't it's basically a family rolls up to a house and it's like a dad and mom and then two kids um it looks like they roll up yeah they roll up they roll up in a car (laughs) (laughs) they roll (laughs) roll up (laughs) and so it's like (laughs) it's basically them in a new house and they're moving in they just bought it okay cool and then they're american dream like there's a song playing, like an old fifty song or whatever. Mm-hmm. Old time. And then sure. like things stop, like the lights start flashing and stuff, and then there's like hearing Wait, sounds. Was it in the fifties? Yeah. It, it looks is. like it's yes. in the fifties. Yeah. So oh, and then at least this family. So we're time traveling or no, no, well, here's what happens. And then Shoot. so then there's a scene, they're eating dinner, and then the lights start flickering and stuff, and then you see the two kids are basically on the floor, like murdered, oh. and the dad standing in front of the door. Okay, and then it cuts to the abandoned house. So oh. the door's there, like and present then day. or present day nineteen eighty something. And then the <laughs> door, they, they break a window, <laughs> and then they open the door, and you realize it's the Stranger Things cast. Yep, and they're kind of they're like, we're looking for clue. What kind of clues are we looking for? And so they're going through. Are they the Ghostbusters now? Basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Nah, nah, nah. And they so, even drop a backpack and it has a Ghostbusters patch on it. Um, and so the then they're, they're, going, the they're going through this house. and I mean, Wolfhard's in both. And then I think towards the end of the trailer, there's like a clock that's ticking. Uh-huh. And then it goes up to it and then it Is switches it to clock? the upside down. It's grandfather yeah. clock. Um, yeah. oh, and then okay. it says Stranger Things season four. So to oh, me, it's kind of like creepy, they're kind of going into the more horror element and of it. And they kill kids. Um, yeah. So it's kind of... Ooh. It's interesting, and yes, the kids look way older now. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of they got to get going. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I didn't know who was talking until they showed who was talking. Was and you're like, Dang. no, it was no, the uh, Dustin, Dusty, the kid no, with no. Well, uh, we're gonna. Oh, <laughs> He's got a really deep voice now. <laughs> what um, was the song he sings in the last? Uh, se- 
Is that the never ending never ending story? story. Yeah. Yeah. You probably can't see it anymore. It was a cool trailer. <laughs> never it was a really cool trailer. <laughs> so I'm kind cool. of just ready for it because I think I think they're moving away from it's about dang time. I think dude. people complained about the seasons kind of feeling the same. Yeah. Oh, so I think man. this one's kind of going to go in a different direction. Which it almost cool. feels like it's kind of starting over with the storyline because the first three seasons were like obviously connected yeah. one after the other. This feels like it's a new thing. I think they'll still have... I think it's going to connect. I think they'll still have stuff with, obviously... Well, it's always been... They're going to do some Hopper stuff because of the kind of teaser yeah. we got at the last season. Is it, Does it feel like it's going to be centered around the same kid? Uh, the guy who... The kid who brought... I think just around the, the group of kids, but not you know necessarily what I mean? like that He was one always kid. the res- the source of like everything that yeah, was Yeah, I don't think on. it'll necessarily be like you it'll stray away from still. that. I think he'll still be in the group, well, but of I, course, don't, yeah. I don't think. I think be. it's. I think it's still going to something new, or no? I think they're just kind of using a different trope. I think it's okay. going to start with like more of like them. Oh, we're investigating this house, and we're like ghost hunters kind of thing. Yeah, but I think it's, it's kinda, still going to connect with the supernatural, and it still has something to do with the upside down. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's going to connect that way. Cool. But it's just going to go about it differently yeah, as different opposed way. to them being like, oh, there's this lab and they're doing tests. It's more like, yeah. this house is haunted, but that's connect somehow. I think that's how it's going to go. Oh, I'll be, I can't wait but, for that. Yeah. It, it was cool. It looked really Do they cool. have a date on that? 22. That's all they said. Get out of town. <laughs> it might be <laughs> well, spring or summer. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they'd, it pushed to like a year from now. Oof. No, I think they're already done filming, so it's... Yeah, yeah. I it'll think. be spring or summer, yeah. probably. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, the other thing that they did at the Netflix thing was the Cowboy Bebop um, live-action series. Two, one, let's go. Um, they kind of showed the opening, yeah, the opening um, credits. Um, so I've never watched that, so I don't know if anyone's interested in that, but... It's kind of your room, Corey, right? My buddy, my best friend from high school, David Aberastri. Shout he, out David that, Aberastri. <laughs> yeah, he's Josh using Shout that one. Shout out. Shout out. All right, there we go. I'm not keeping track that of how many people That was like Dave's like favorite anime back then. Yeah. And it was a cool like space, um, like hunter slash like crime investigation kind of it's, a, it's, it's like a, a noir kind yeah of. noir it's exactly yeah. noir but space noir <laughs> yeah uh, it's cool. really cool um the the drawing style was really dope um and the music was good um but who knows so hey, live action maybe this is the one that translates really well you mm. never know there's a, a gonna be one you know that it works. was some cool like it was cool how the opening credits did it, it i assume that's probably how the i think it's pretty similar to yeah I don't remember I need the to opening. It. It's it. like the colors and stuff coming ba-na, through. I don't ba-na, remember if it was ba-na, showing ba-na. like the same exact scenes, but they were doing like, uh, oh, this guy flying fighting, guns and yeah. shooting, and yeah, like, yeah, these yeah, guys yeah. rolling, you know, stuff like that. But okay, cool. It looks cool. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I, you guys probably don't want to talk about this, but uh, Army of Thieves trailer, which is the prequel to the uh, Army of the Dead. How far out is that? Um, that's this year. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. then yeah. Let's um, talk about it. And they had. November. They oh, had what? the trailer, yeah. Frick, and then yeah. talk about it. They had the trailer, and then they had kind of a like discussion with Zack Snyder, Deborah Snyder, and the director and stuff. But w- one thing that I thought was cool was they were talking about how um, they were filming the movie, and they're like, "Yeah, but we need we need someone to do the soundtrack. We need someone to do the music. Um, but who could we get?" And that Hans Zimmer called Zack Snyder, and he's like, "Show me the movie." Um, and they're like, really? And he's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically a German movie because the director's German. And so he's like, I'd love to do the soundtrack for it. <coughs> and so Hans Zimmer kind of called them um, and said that he wanted to do it. So he's doing the soundtrack, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. The Hans Zimmer would just be like, hey, I want to do loyal. it. Right. Well, just he's the fact that guy. he's like doing he's doing soundtracks for all this other stuff. Like he's doing well, he Dune, just Dune yeah. and he's doing... <laughs> And then he's I mean, just kind of like he's gonna make the soundtrack for that piece of crap. Well, Are you kidding me? Well, I'm just saying. And then he's like, he's like, hey, I'll do the soundtrack for Army of Thieves. I think that's kind of a no, cool, yeah. cool thing. So he decided on it because it was a German film. No, because he's worked with with he's worked with Zack Snyder and okay. the director. So I don't know what his name is, but he's the guy in it's the um, guy who's the actor. The right? actor. He's directing the, the, the movie. Safe uh, Cracker. Yeah. 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 Um, and so oh. he was like, hey, you have a, a German guy directing this movie. It takes yeah. place in these. He's like, it's basically kind of a German film. It's like and he's like, I, He's like, why would I not do this? No, it's not. But he's oh. just kind of like talking about like the director and stuff like that. He's like, why would I not want to do this? 
So he was the one that kind of initiated okay. the. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. So Hans Zimmer's the man. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about it before. You know, he's the best. <laughs> exactly. But that's about it. Should that's, take um, his uh, master class. You know, he, oh, he has I a know. master class. I, love- <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say from the Netflix stuff, one thing that I thought was interesting was I have no idea what it is. Arcane. League of Legends <laughs> show. Oh my gosh, it, you brought that up. Yeah. Nice. I, I, <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh. I just, just did. I just did. That's amazing. It was pretty interesting. And I was like, wow. I have no idea what these League of Legends characters are because yeah. it's two characters from the from League of Legends. Is that right? I thought they were supposed to be brand new. It, oh, okay. I, I thought that was the whole idea of it. I have no idea, to be honest. Yeah. But it, it looked, the animation looked cool. So it's just a new anime animated series for whatever these two characters for League of Legends are. Yeah, so Riot Games, they've been working uh, in tandem with them and for three years, I think, making this uh, animated series. The trailer, or the little, like, I don't know if it was a trailer or if it was, like a, like, a teaser, but it looked cool. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. Who knows, dude? I mean, they, they've made really cool cutscenes and stuff like that, so, yeah. Yeah, so that'll be interesting. And then they, we got our first look at the Sandman live-action uh, show. I, don't I feel know. like that's been in the works for like years now. So it's like been, I, I remember hearing stuff about that like ten years ago. Well, yeah, it was gonna be a movie, and then yeah. it got canceled, and there was all a bunch of stuff happening. So it's finally happening with uh, Netflix. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, I feel like that's one of those like comic books that people like absolutely love. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Oh. Uh, no, Arcane is the uh, origin stories of certain League of Legends champions. So, yeah, that's okay. cool. That's sweet. That's awesome. Thanks for bringing that up, Choop. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah. Shout out to Choop. <laughs> <laughs> we can't shout out people in the room. Well, I guess we can, but... <laughs> we could do whatever we want. We're <laughs> in right, charge. Choop, what else did you have? Uh, so, the Nintendo Direct that happened earlier this week... Yeah. Um, I was hoping for maybe some Zelda news. It didn't happen. No. Spoiler alert. Uh, actually, there was, man. Oh, okay. So, well, we'll get to that, okay? But I meant, I meant new <laughs> Breath, Breath of the Wild, Wild news. Uh, okay. Because <clears throat> Hyrule Warriors isn't a Zelda game, right? It's not. <laughs> didn't. This is so good. This is so good. <laughs> I know, I know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, no, it's not. It's a Hyrule Warriors game. Um, some of the <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> so stuff that they, uh, new stuff that they announced, we got a date for the Square Enix, um, what is it called? Triangle Strategy? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's its official name yet, but it's supposed to be coming out in March. Um, it's a cool top-down, um, kind of like, like Fire Emblem style. It looks like the other one that they came out with. Um, Gosh. Yeah, I have the I have that game. I haven't played it. It and has exactly awesome right. music, by the way. Really good. The music. music's awesome, right. and like it's eight uh, or sixteen bit. But it's a turn based strategy, like Fire Emblem is. Yeah. Right? yeah, and so you can shift all across the the board, and then the the gimmick for it, I guess, is that um, every decision you make, um, you know, counts or whatever. So you have to convince people to join your side. Uh, essentially. So you have to, I played the demo and you have to remember what you told certain people sometimes. So luckily they said like, Hey, they're like, we learned, like we got your feedback and now you have a a list of like, you can go back and see the conversations you had with people. Uh, Uh, I'd have to record what I said. But it it, it looks like a fun game. I'm actually pretty excited for that. And then uh, Chocobo GP, Corey. Okay. So this game, (laughs) okay, guys. (laughs) What's it called? Chocobo? It's so Chocobo. Dumb, GP. It's so dumb, dude. It's, it's so Honestly, bro, it's just <laughs> Chocobos, but like swap out Mario for Mario. Cool. What yeah. are Chocobos? Chocobos are from Final <sighs> Fantasy. They're little chickens, They're little birds. man. <laughs> They're chickens. They ride, bro. They're like mounts in Final it's Fantasy. It's literally a, a Mario Kart clone. It's a Mario. But, but with Final dude, Fantasy Dude, it looks so similar to Mario Kart. It's pretty crazy. Like the current iteration, it looks very. Is it something you're excited for? No, no. I just, I just brought it. I brought it up more just to be like, what's going on? It's so (laughs) weird, man. Like how people, how they even like think that's a good idea. I don't know, man. There's always been like Mario Kart clones. Yeah, like like the Crash racing. Yeah, Donkey Kong. Yeah, the Crash racing games. Yeah, but I guess what they never do. But they never do well. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean. (laughs) I guess Square Enix is its own beast, so they'll have loyal fans that will buy it and play it and have their kids play it. And Yeah. But it just looked so similar. Like, literally, <laughs> there's, like, the items that you pick up, but they look different. And then yeah. you, like, get spells that you can use, like, 
the thing it was with, pretty ridiculous. Thing with um, uh, Final Fantasy games is you'll be like, oh, fire, fire raga, fire raga, raga. Like the more fires you have, the more strong spell it is. But it's like getting like shells and like messing up the people in front of you. But instead, you so have fire blue, shells. Is there blue fire? I don't know. <laughs> Goes to the front of one. <laughs> um, and then last Smash characters gets announced on October 5th. Yeah. So it'll be the final. The last The last one. one? He's done. Yep. What is that, like 82? Mm, or something? I can't remember. We do this every time. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we it look might, at it, it and we're right. like, oh, it's actually 47. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see who the, who the yeah. final character is. is. Are people talking about... <laughs> Why are people people are talking? <laughs> what's the word? Like, what's, what are people saying? What are the people saying? <laughs> what are people saying, man? Uh, I haven't seen a lot, to be honest. Oh, I just saw a funny, like... Photoshop of Waluigi invites himself, <laughs> and it's like I feel the like same that art. would be pretty sweet. I, <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, it wouldn't be sweet. Well, it's just it's just well, it's been here, a long. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I don't want it to be Waluigi. I want it to be it's someone be, like that man, blows everyone's mind. It gonna it's going to be Waluigi or some guy from a Japanese game you've I want, never played. No, I want it to be Batman or Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Or, okay. or that's Goku. my hope. Goku, dude. Okay. Or Goku. I'm, I'm with Goku. See? Goku. I mean, Give me Goku any of those would be three. sweet. I that feel like that's the last one. That you gotta be, go yes. big, dude. If they did Goku, the world would explode. It'd be man. pretty sweet. You know It'd how many? Be, you know how many weebs there are? You know what a weeb is? <laughs> you know what a weeb is? You're no, one, right? Don't. Aren't you a weeb? Uh, yeah, sure. A guy who likes anime. Uh-huh. Sorry, anyone who likes anime a lot <laughs> and like Japanese culture. We bet is a girl that likes. Oh, we bet. But all the weebs. Bro, they love Nintendo, man. And if we get like, oh yeah, Goku, absolutely. Goku. I mean, it's a good pairing. They would freak yeah. out, man. You'd see all these reaction videos of people flipping it. They're well, you, said, you said that's like who people have wanted for like. Yeah, it's the number one most wanted. Yeah, yeah. it was and like that Sonic, be, but then after they got yeah. Sonic, you said there. October second, fifth, oh, fifth it's coming up. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. two weeks away, basically. So he'll do his last show, um, and plus show the character. So, so we'll let's see. make let's guess. Uh, we got nothing to go off of. Ugh. We got nothing to go off of, guys. I'm going to say it's a machine gun. You play a just machine a gun. Just a gun. Yeah, just I a gun. I love that. Yeah. Especially in... Yeah, you play yeah. a gun. I love it. That's all. It's Isaac <sighs> from Golden Sun. I wish. It's going to be something stupid. It's going to be Waluigi. <laughs> it's going to be... I'm going to say Goku because no. I'm going to put that out. I wish it was... It's going to be Master Hand. No, but these aren't that in the game. a playable You're character. You're dumb, dude. He's going to be a playable okay, character. that's his guess. So he'll that's fight my himself? Guess. Okay. No, <laughs> like like um like the hand from like the hand, Pillsbury the, Doughboy. Yeah, the, the white, villain the white, that you always like, fight. Oh, Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah. <laughs> Joins the fight. Can you <laughs> bake some a bat some <laughs> dough? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling some fools. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully it's someone cool. I hope it's Goku. Then there's a new Kirby game coming out. Uh, graphics look 3D. Crappy. I'm gonna say it's the, Batman. Yo, dude, the graphics look so bad <laughs> for Kirby. The They're, Kirby game looks. Yeah. Hey, I'm changing my. I'm saying it's Batman. Arkham Batman. They're gonna yeah. put Batman That's in That's what I'm talking yeah. about, bro. You put that. What in if it's the Batman. Telltale Batman? And you have to do like everything, like point and click. There you go. <laughs> it's quick time events. <laughs> uh, the Kirby 3D game was called like Forgotten. The Forgotten Land. Land. Kirby yeah. and the Forgotten Land. It's supposed to be kind of be like the 3D Mario games, right? I will, yeah. Kind of same I, style. I will say the concept looks fun and it looks like a fun game, but the graphics were really like laggy and a lot of like jittering. Yeah. Is that the it, first? A lot of flickering and jittering. Oh, this is so the I'm first announcement headache. they've yeah. had. So. Is that the first 3D Kirby? Kirby. Uh, I believe there's been other ones or maybe one originally. But I feel like it's a new, at yeah. least recently. Dang, all the all Kirby, Kirby fans are going to come after us for not knowing. <laughs> all, yeah. I know. uh, Apologies, yeah. Kirby fans. Kirby, yeah. I think it looks cool, but yeah, the graphics are kind of whack. So yeah. hopefully they clean those up and get better frames. Yeah. And then Animal Crossing. There's an Animal Crossing Direct next month, guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Guess free what? Content. Free content. Free content, dude. That's the one thing I like about Animal Crossing, man. The team that's so working on content. it, yeah. it's free content, and they're like good they're like good to their employees. Yeah. 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 Dude, they they're doing it right. It's awesome. And they really like honor their fans as well. Yeah. It's it's really cool. Take notes, Blizzard. I, I have no idea. Honestly, dude, <laughs> I I haven't played the game. I should just buy it to support them, dude. Yeah, they're the I one, have the game. It's good. I, it's fun. You know what I mean? They're the ones that delayed the game because they're like, we don't want to overwork our yeah. team, so we're going to delay the and game. And they just told us. I and think everyone we was like, response, okay. Yeah. We're like, yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, we don't want people to freaking get all depressed and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know nothing about what it is. All I know is Crystal said it's Brewster, whatever that means. 
Like okay. literally, she yelled, "It's Brewster." Okay, and I was like, well, "Okay, yeah, Good that'll make sense for Can't people to play it." Um, and then there's gonna be Nintendo Online Expansion Pass. So for um, you're gonna pay more for the yeah. online thing, but you get N64 games, on the Virtual Console, and Sega Genesis games. All right, Crystal. Okay, but how do you feel up about that? Up that price. How do you feel about that? <laughs> no, not, we're the ones paying for this. <laughs> <laughs> how do I feel? Yeah, do you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonah loves Woo. it. He doesn't pay a dime. Choop, you're the only one who matters in this situation. How do you feel about it? They're they're basically making you pay more money for content that you should probably get. Or do you think you're already yeah. getting away with murder? I feel like it's a pretty like. <laughs> how much I mean? you paying now? It's what? How much is it? Twenty five bucks a year, maybe. But how many people can play on yours? How many eight, counts? Up to eight people. So it's so literally Jonah's on there. Corey's it's on eight there. Eight divided by twenty, whatever. Hey, in our in or twenty five. We've offered, whatever. or I guess I've offered. I haven't to give <laughs> them something. Off. You know, five bucks or something. Well, does he yeah. use anything of yours? Yeah, we traded HP yeah. as HBO Max, yeah. so we're well, good. Go. Yeah. Square. Lord, hey, Lauren's the one that doesn't pay up. Both his kids are on there. Hey, yeah. Shout out <laughs> to the freeloaders. <laughs> Ethan, Jason, and Lauren. Uh, <laughs> oh, shoot, dude. That's a real call out, bro. Better watch out, man. I mean, it's a pretty, I think it's a That's pretty a fair deal. price to just be able to access any so. NES or N, uh, Super NES games and now the N64 games that they. I mean, compared to what you pay for the Sony stuff right. or Microsoft, that's like 60 bucks a year, right? Yeah. Which still is like a really good deal, but still it's a lot less. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah. I mean, they announced Splatoon three, Bayonetta three, but we already kind of knew about that. Yeah. Um, and what then about the, that uh, that Nickelodeon Smash Bros clone? Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah they got SpongeBob over here for yeah. like, dash attacking and up smashing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty lame. Yeah, that wasn't on the Nintendo Direct because it's garbage. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, and then the, obviously the big news was the uh, animated. Mario movie with Chris Pratt as Mario. And this is with Illumination. Illumination. Yeah. So Illumination. Despicable Me. It's the Sony owned company, right? I don't know. Is it Sony? I don't know if I it's think, Sony. Isn't it? I thought it was. It's um it's not DreamWorks. No. All I know is their What's movies the are one? not great. What? I said all I know is their movies aren't great. Illumination? Yeah, Despicable Me. People the love that one. People are huge fans of the Minions. Yeah, people love Dog poop too. <laughs> hey, shout shots out to dog fi- poop. Shots fired, dude. But uh, yeah, oh. so all right, we're gonna go with some. No one loves dog poop. So, well, some. I thought you were gonna dog, go with like people love heroin. Dog, my dog loves. Hey, my dog doesn't mean it's yeah. good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Chris Pratt's Mario, Anya Taylor, Joy's Peach, Charlie Day's Luigi, um, Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong, <coughs> and Jack Black <coughs> is Bowser. That's the best one. I that's, think that's, that is the best that's one. That's great. Uh, uh, Keegan Michael Key is Toad. Yeah, I yeah. like that one too. Uh, that one's good. I like so, the Charlie Day is Luigi too. I love Charlie Day is Luigi that's guys. Good cast. I'm a big yeah, fan, good dude. Cast. And then yeah, so we'll see. They're, and then they said they're bringing back uh, the guy that does the Mario voice for the actual cameos. Movie. He's doing other voices. Other voices. Yeah. Um, so I know I I saw on Twitter people that were like. Why isn't he Mario? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why are we putting? Because like, you don't want back, him to dude. do dialogue. <laughs> well, here, here's yeah. I think, yeah. It, I think it's a me, I'm Mario. I think that energy it just gets annoying, right? Yeah. And so I think they knew. <laughs> also, bringing a big name like Chris Pratt yeah. is going to bring in views. Yeah. So it's cool because they knew they knew the fans were going to be all pissed yeah. off. So they did that thing at the end. Oh, just in case, just so you guys know, he's going to do yeah. cameos. So we're cool, right, guys? Yeah. Well, so that was a good play by them. And I like the video of Chris Pratt. He did like a 15 oh. <laughs> second video where he's like, "Well, guys, it's a me, Mario." It's like that's that's not the voice. You'll hear the voice later. I've been working on it really hard. Really excited for you guys to hear it. But it was just kind of was like, "It's a me, Mario." I was like, "Oh, it's, it's going to be interesting Mario. how how he does it." Because I just hope he smokes <laughs> a know? lot. Yeah. I hope he goes to back to As the a drinking problem. to the live action Mario with uh, John Leguizamo, and it was like, "Hey, come on, Mario brothers." Jeez. <laughs> we gotta fix this scene. Yeah, <laughs> I'm walking in. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it'll I mean, be interesting. Yeah, hey, I'm interested man. to see what happens. Hey, like I say, with all video game movies. You can't do worse than what's... I mean, you can, but it's like <laughs> the bar is so low that yeah. your odds are pretty yes. good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and I know you were like, <laughs> Illumination is garbage, 
Um, the first, the first despicable, despicable Me story. isn't bad, and yeah, then bruh. the what? The, what's the other one with the guy that like does the dances? That's the first. Is that the no? That's the th- that's the second Dude, one. Dude, don't make me look up their movie. The guy bro. with the uh, Despicable Me too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the second one, right? I don't think it's I, the second one because he's the villain in the first one. The second yeah. one is the guy that's like the skinny guy, the eighties guy. Yeah, oh, okay. That's oh, is that the different too. person? Wait, so you're telling me you didn't is that like the third Sing? One? I don't know. <laughs> no, I like I'm, Sing actually. Like sing. Oh, I'm sorry. Really? You guys don't you like, like Sing? The I like Sing. Yeah, I like. What oh, about the Secret Life of Pets? Huh? That movie. I don't like Secret Life of Pets. Are bad. So does Minions. Minions sucks. Man. Okay, so they're about. I think. I think they ever heard of it. Shrek is an illumination. Shrek Five. Shrek is DreamWorks. Oh, terrible. Google's lying to me. It is lying to you. Don't believe me. Anyways, I think they're... It's like a generic... Here's the other thing, too. Shrek <laughs> Here's the other thing, too. I think... I think Nintendo... Or the movie Banana. I think... A nin- Minions. <laughs> yeah, it's just a Minions movie. I think Nintendo holds tight their stuff, and they aren't willing to... <laughs> kind of a sentence was that? I think holds Nintendo tight holds tight their, their stuff. stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. I, they care about... How things are done with their characters, yeah. with their IPs. So I think you guys are right, though they don't got they're much. They're gonna let, like, they're gonna not let something be crappy. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's no, intent. I get what you're saying. I, I'm actually surprised that it's gotten to this point because, yeah, just all the stories that you've heard over the years of them like pulling the plug on projects. Yeah. They're like, yeah. no, we don't want that. Or even that says uh, a lot when they put Bowser in. Uh, is it Bowser? In uh, Wreck-It Ralph, Wreck-It Ralph yeah. oh, they were like, Wreck-It it was Ralph. a pain in the butt because they're like, yeah, Bowser needs to be this tall. He can't, he can't be small. He can't be smaller than so and so. Like that doesn't make sense. Yeah, so like they're guy just from Street bit, Fighter. They're very specific yeah, about everything. That's so, good. So yeah, we'll see. Brand integrity, cool. dude. That'll be interesting. Right. You're right. That does say a lot. That's cool. Well, I think that's gonna do it for the news this week. Unless you guys had something else. I don't no, think so I think we're done. Done with the news. I think there was something else, but I forgot. So let's move oh, on. Yeah. No, nope. we already Wait, said let's no. move on. Wait, but he had a Sorry. finger up. Oh. Wait, just, didn't we say uh, what's this Marvel Arrow guy? Hawkeye. 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 Trailer for Hawkeye was whatever. Looks like a Christmas show. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> that was that's old news too because yeah, that was we missed like, it last yeah, week. That's like two weeks. Ago. We're trying to help yeah. you guys out, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on. Okay. All right. Thanks for helping us. Yeah. Out. What's next? Thanks for hanging out with the news. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, man. Um, we we've been going forty two minutes. We do we really want to talk about what if or just kind of go into visions? Let's just go into visions. Let's just yeah. go. It wasn't yeah. good. Watch the what if. Yeah, it, if it was watch, probably the the most boring. Yeah, and not. I didn't episode. like it. Visions. <laughs> Thor parties. That's that's all. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Visions. All right. Yeah. Let's go into visions. Uh, yeah. Whoever wants to start, go ahead. Uh, I'll just start by saying I haven't seen all of them. I've seen five. Oh my gosh, five of them. Mm. And I'm missing the last one. I've I've enjoyed all of them. I think all of them have been really good so far. Even the Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was I thought wow. it was fun. I I'm, thought it was. Fun. I'm on mixed side too. I thought cool. it was a fun I, time. Hey. That's great. Yeah. I, I've seen all of them, unlike most of you. Yeah, I've sorry. seen uh, all of them and some of them <laughs> twice. <laughs> just Shove kidding. it. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> there wasn't one that I didn't like. Like even the Rhapsody one, it was probably one of my least favorites, but I still enjoyed it. Yeah. Like I still, I wasn't like, this is Star Wars. I even like Boba Fett. I like little chibi Boba Fett. Yeah, that, baby, dude. True. Dude, even, uh, come on, dude. You didn't tell me you don't want a whole show with Bib Fortuna. That dude looked awesome in there. <laughs> Come okay. on. Awesome. Okay, so... You can have a concert there. there I can. Yeah. There's not one that I'm like... I hate the whole mentality of, like, people you see on the internet, they're like, this is stupid, this is Star Wars. It's like, it's not supposed to be. Like, it's, it's well, supposed no, to be... it is, but it's their own well, take on Yes, it. but it doesn't have to fit with what, like, Star, George Lucas would have done this. It's like, no. So none of them were like... That I was just like, this is stupid. But to me, like some of them were just like, eh, I don't like this. Like I wasn't the one for me that was, I think the biggest letdown was the twins. Um, because that one, when they released all the synopsis of the episodes, it was like twin dark side twins that are in the dark side, grew up in the dark side and all this, like they have a conflict to me. I was like, oh, that's the one I want to see. And it, that one was a really like a letdown for me. And I felt like it was, well, I was watching it with Melissa, and it was. I kept looking at my watch to be like, "Is this almost over?" Because it was like, felt like it was going on forever, and it was just not interesting to me. Mm. Um, the duel I really liked. I thought the art was awesome. Um, 
That was the same people that did Batman Ninja, right? I think I so. Think yeah. That's what we um, the the one the bride one, the um, village bride. The village bride I thought was really good. Um, the elder was really good. The ninth Jedi was I. I think that one's my favorite. Um, and then the Ocho one. Lop and Ocho. Lop and Ocho. I think those to me are the ones that were the best. And then the other ones were like, hey, like I didn't care much for the Bohemian Rhapsody one. Um, I didn't hate it, but it was just kind of like, eh, yeah, you know, I don't think I'd ever rewatch it. Whereas some of these other ones I might rewatch. I think out of all the ones that I watched, I probably got the most bored with the bride one. I still liked mm-hmm. it, but that one I was kind of like, eh, you know, whatever. But I think by by far my favorite one was the duel, the first episode. Mm. That was really cool. Um, yeah. I just love the artwork and the short little story that they told was awesome. I love seeing a lightsaber coming out of a sheath. Yeah. Or scabbard, however Super you want to say it. You just have never seen that before in the movies. So I just thought that was really cool. Would you be shocked if I told you that Star Wars fans online are upset about that? I would not be shocked. Yeah. Star Wars fans get upset about would that. Would you be <laughs> would did they think that it's on always? Because I don't think it's on. I don't I, don't, I think, I don't it think it's on, on either. as it, it yeah. comes out. Yeah. Because uh, they're saying, oh, it would burn through the, the sheath. They're just I mean, literally complaining for the sake uh, of like, this it, isn't doing Yeah, me. but do you know what's the right. dumbest it's thing? It's made out of best You know what's the they dumbest thing? <laughs> is yeah. Ahsoka in The Mandalorian holds um, her lightsabers, or even in the Clone Wars, she holds her lightsabers together, and they're turned on as she goes back like that. Yeah. Right? He's extending his hands. Well, didn't wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. The other Let's one, paint a you know, if you're you thinking listeners. it that way, it's like, well, this lightsaber would have destroyed this lightsaber because you're turning he's them on. Them at each other, right. and now he turned but it on. It's, it's just people are dumb. Yeah, people are dumb. Now he's picking. Like, stop uh, complaining. How many? Which ones did you watch, or what did you get up to? I got up just to the one ninth. Oh, oh, okay. Ninth Jedi. So you watched that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that one's probably my favorite as well. That one was really good. Um, yeah. Because I feel like they. There were a couple misdirections in there. Like I was expecting a certain thing, and then they, you yeah, know, who's the guy? Yeah, who's the guy? I was yeah. like, oh, that guy yeah. looks like a bad guy, and they're yeah. like, oh, it's a robot he has bad. Red and then, eyes. Yeah, yeah. And then they kind of flipped it around. Um, and his mask was sick. His m- mask was sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, and then the and the, Ethan the switch at the end. It. Ethan was in it. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Ethan. Um, but yeah, that one's cool. I really, yeah, like I said, I didn't. There wasn't one that I didn't that I hated. Uh, the twins was. Probably one of my least favorites, actually. And like you said, I was looking forward to that one the most. Some of the stuff was cool, like her, like six arms with the whip uh, lightsabers. Yeah, that was that cool. Was crazy. Um, but overall, I wasn't. Was he? Yeah. Were they just breathing in space? Yeah. Yeah. And what was strange is that the that <laughs> you know when, who when else the ro- did that in the actual canon movies? Leia, Leia. right? Yeah. Well, I mean. So I'm saying like breathe. I it's done. Passed out. Or well, she didn't. She die. was passed out. Yeah. Well, she didn't die. What was weird about that is that they were breathing out there, and then when the, the C three PO, he's glass. got a helmet on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's See, no I, rules in there. I understand. I, I understand. think that's. Yeah. I. I don't know. I think that was kind of like. I think they were basically Im- implying that force users could be fine, basically. Yeah. But I don't know why droids. Yeah, I don't know why droids. That's what's weird. It's <laughs> the whole reason uh, why droids exist is so they can repair on the outside of ships. <laughs> but what, but, about, what about you, Corey? What do you got? Woo, man, hey, I will say that like when you guys told me about the run times, like, I was pretty sad. I was like, ah, it's pretty pretty bad. But, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, disappointed. I, I think there were episodes where I was like, man, that sucks. I'm not going to be able to see another episode of that um, because I thought – most of them were really good. Um, all of them had really different takes on Star Wars. And and it's funny because, you know, Jonah and I were talking before this and, and Jonah asked, I wonder if they had any direction or if they if they gave them anything or they limited them in anything because they had a lot of crossing over things that they like to look at, like kyber crystals, lightsabers, and, and just general lines that they would use. They would use similar lines like what was the what were you saying i have a bad, bad feeling, feeling about this yeah. it was like an it's every episode, episode. Yeah. one after the other yeah so it's, it's cool to see like their take on it like what they remember what they cherish as children and and getting to make their own version of it it's cool to see what they like and i'm gonna be honest i liked a lot of what they did i think yeah. the the cool samurai version of lightsaber just looks sick on the twins you're right i didn't really like that one as much because i feel like the story was very weak and yeah. uh, empty 
Um, the animation style was really cool, and it felt like a waste <laughs> of potential. And um, it almost did too much. Like, it almost went too far on that. Do whatever you want, man. Sit on the front of a giant X-Wing and slice a go, ship in go half with your light speed. <laughs> Megazord-sized lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. I mean, cool, right? Like, conceptually cool. But, like, as it played out, it's like, all right. Um, but but I think just in general, like, hey, isn't there, like, a dial on the lightsaber? Like, why can't it change, you know, lengths and stuff yeah. like that? And they even did that in the Ninth Je- Jedi where the length of the lightsaber depends on the wielder. I thought that was super cool, where it's like, yo, the color also depends yeah. on the user. And when they fought those the Sith guys, the guy had a purple one because he was in, you know, limbo. He was, yeah. he was struggling with himself. I thought that was so sick. And when and when the girl grabbed the lightsaber and it turned green, that moment, oh, that was sick. That gave me chills a little bit because I was like, yeah, I knew that was going to happen, but it was sick. By the way, we're doing spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers for uh, Star Wars Vision. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna do spoilers on a 13 episode, a 13 minute episode. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, no, I think that the duel was. I think, I think the duel is gonna be a thing that people just generally like, and because it just hit a lot of really cool moments. It's just aesthet- aesthetically, aesthetically, too, just like, like a lot of people are gonna like it. Um, it wasn't my favorite because I don't see it as a. I thought it was a really good one off. I didn't see it as a renewable, like. Maybe they can flesh it out. They got to in- introduce a lot of new aspects to the story. Um, so it was a good one-off. It was really cool. Like when he revealed inside and with all the kyber crystals and stuff, that was really dope. Um, but yeah, didn't really like uh, the Rhapsody one, the tattooing Rhapsody one. I was wa- I was wondering when that was going to be done. <laughs> um, I was like, this just isn't for me personally. I can see where people really enjoy it, um, but just not for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same um, the bride one I thought was really cool. They were world building. They were showing cool things that you know we didn't haven't necessarily seen before. Um, I think the story beats were very Star Wars esque. Um, that one just made sense. Um, I really like that. Um, the o- Ocho Ocho and what was the other one? Yeah, the Ocho Lop. one. Yeah, Lop and Ocho. I thought that one had. A really, really beautiful art style. I really like that one. And I wish they had a clearer storytelling uh, time. Like, I wish they had more time. I wish that was a 40-minute or 45-minute yeah. one. Because I, I don't think there was enough buildup. They you know, they tried to do a lot of stuff with, with um, trying to build that relationship with them. You know, like the moment where the droid... And shows the picture of them. Mm-hmm, yeah. You know, they got how many minutes to do, try to build up some kind of connection with these guys. So I thought they were doing the best they could with the time that they had. But um, action was cool. The whole, like, lore of everything was really sweet. Um, and it felt Star Wars, but, like, in a different world. You know what I mean? Like, it was cool. It was cool to see that. I think the Elder was classic. <laughs> like, uh, Elder just felt right. I think yeah. the bad guy in that one was really cool. The way they ended it with him was really exciting and, and that has a huge potential to go on. Um, very intriguing, the end of that one. Um, it was funny how his name was Dan, <laughs> the, the Padawan. <laughs> hey, Dan. <laughs> Jedi Dan. Um, <laughs> but Elder was cool. I, I didn't really like the last one. What was that one called? Akakiri. Akakiri. I thought that the story was weak. Um and the art style I really didn't enjoy, and I know a lot of people are going to love it. Um, just wasn't my cup of tea. Um, but, yeah. And then was it Ninth Jedi? Nine? What was it? The Ninth Jedi? The Ninth Se- Jedi. The yeah. Ninth Jedi. Yeah. I mean, that was my favorite by far. Yeah. Um, that was just really good. I just feel like that one has more of a, like, if they were to do a story, like a series that continued, I feel like that one has enough that introduced. one and the elder has enough that you could be like the store enough was introduced that you yeah. could do a whole series elder is like a freaking blank sh- yes you can put it any, at anywhere yeah you could put it in nice jedi it's already started building it's like you know story and everything so that's sick i mean you know what they did with that man yeah with, with the blacksmith and stuff with the yeah. cyber they're sick man i yeah. loved it um i'm guessing you guys didn't watch the extras so no. Um, but yeah, if you get a chance, they're pretty cool. It's just like anywhere from five to eight minutes. And it's just basically them talking about the process that they went through for, um, 
making the the episodes. But the uh, the Ninth Jedi was originally two separate projects, one f- about the blacksmith and then one about someone looking for the Jedi. Yeah. And then they were like, hey, do you want to, what do you think about just combining them into a longer episode and fusing them together? So they ended up fusing both ideas together. And I think, I mean. That worked really well. It worked really well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's kind of. I, wish, I do wish there was a little more with the blacksmith, though, because yeah. I thought he I, was really cool. He was awesome. I would. What a that's good where that's where I do think some of these I wish they could have been ten minutes and like oh that was kind of like the Rhapsody one to me like the the twins one um, the one we didn't I didn't finish watching the one with the are droid. you hating on Toby bro um, but yeah I you feel, didn't watch it though and yeah I'm like, just saying I think like, kids are gonna like that one yeah, a lot more like but, that was a kid version but I think there's some there that I'm like if these could be forty minutes to even an hour like. The Ninth Jedi would be a really cool one that you could give a backstory to the blacksmith and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I feel like maybe they do that. Um, maybe they're kind of testing out to see what people are excited about or what they say on social media, you know, the reactions. But I just think there are a few of those that you're like, you can build more into this. Dude. And you can do longer yeah. episodes and or a one season series, you know, where it's just give me a story. Yeah. Um, That would be pretty cool. So hopefully they do something like that. Cause I think there is like potential in this. And I know some people are like, I'm never going to watch that because some people don't like anime. Yeah. Um, But I think for those that do or find this kind of stuff intriguing, I think it's a cool way to, to just get more content out there, you know, and give other people an opportunity to play in the Star Wars sandbox, you know, that don't normally get to. Yeah. Well, there are people who really like anime and they'll never watch live action Star Wars. Yeah. And there are some people who vice versa, right? But there's a bunch that, of weebs. But there is that crossover, right? But there's a bunch of normies, yeah. right? Normies and <laughs> who are, weebs. Who are never going to watch an anime. <laughs> so what I'm saying is there's a lot of crossover there. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's, this is awesome. If they, if they could do one or two of them, make an actual season out of it or, or something like that. Yeah. That would be awesome to kind of fill that gap. I Which feel like yeah. cool. I feel like they're going to. Like, there's no way that they're not going to at least move forward with one or two projects out yeah, of this. I think um, even like in the extras, like there's a couple of people that are like, well, we'd like to work on it more, you know, or I think there's one director. I don't remember which one it was for, but he was basically saying like, oh, I was going to retire. Yeah. But then they came to me with this project and I was like, the reason I became an animator is because of Star Wars. Yeah, it so inspired me this so is much, yeah. like, I got to take my chance. And then he's, and then they kind of mention like, well, this is technically his last movie, but hopefully, you know, like yeah. they, there's, they say kind of subtle yeah. things like that. So I, um, I, I feel like it would be, I mean, for me that really enjoyed every single one of them. And I was never like, man, you know what I want? I want Star Wars anime. Like it never crossed my mind, but now I'm like, man, that, it fits so well. It yeah. looks awesome. Um, I want to see more. Like it's just a, it's another storytelling device yeah. that they can take advantage of. Um, and I think, yeah, I think they should. I think it's a no brainer. Yeah, I, th- I think this has proved that the pairing of the two works out really well. Yeah. I here's the problem though, because I think uh, I. Th- I don't know what kind of reactions they've been getting because I feel like I've seen a lot of negative reactions of people just being like, this isn't Star Wars, which is to me is dumb because I'm like, yeah, like Star Wars doesn't always have to be packaged in the same thing. You know, it's the same thing with people that are upset about the sequel trilogy, people that don't like the prequels, people that only think like there's camps and everything. And if someone does something that doesn't fit what they think is Star Wars, it's like trash. Like they can't. They can't find good in some stuff. And like I said, there's stuff I don't like in Star Wars, but I at least can still be like, oh, but I appreciated this or that was cool. Like even Last Jedi. I don't like The Last Jedi that much, but there are things in it that I'm like, man, that was really cool. I like that. I feel like I can grab things out of Star Wars. Um, And so my concern is that the reaction to this is the people that are like, oh, that's dumb. That didn't work. That's stupid. You know, and then that ends up becoming like what they grab onto and be like, oh, people really didn't like this. Let's not do it. Where I just think like you have to keep pushing. You have to give more of it in order for people to get on board. You know, um, we're all on board for it. Right. But there's those people that don't really like it, um, that you have to kind of give a little more 
to convince them to get on board. Does that make sense? So I hope they go for that as opposed to being like, uh, the reaction was split. It's not worth it, right, to invest in this. Do you think people would be more on board if it was a, like, let's just go all out, a canon, uh, like, 13-episode series? I think you might have – I think you would get more people – interested in watching it if you said it was it connected yeah because this is just kind of like oh these are just stories right yeah. um so i think you would get people to be like oh this is canon because there's a lot like of star wars matters, fans that like so, oh this yeah. matters um i just think they need to keep at it and kind of get people to love it more or give it a chance as opposed to i hope they just don't put these out and then it's like yeah it didn't work that much you know what i'm saying i just i just want them to keep doing it Or give us, like you said, extend something with some of these episodes that people really did like um, and give us a, you know, hour and a half movie or something they could do. Yeah, I think I think with general consensus, if you're going off of Rotten Tomatoes, it's around 78 to 80 percent. So that's that's for audience score. Yeah. 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 So that's pretty good. But that's like taking all of them together, which if you individually ranked like. You know, each episode, yeah. I think you'd have some that are really high and yeah. some that are really low, but yeah, or maybe not super low because the average was seventy eight. So I mean, I don't know. I think I think more people like it than you think. You know, I'm just going off I of like what I'm seeing the people I see on like social media when I go through. Yeah, the outspoken and like ones, the people. Yeah. So I'm just kind of like that. It's that kind of stuff that I'm like. Unfortunately, the loud people are what they're the more negative. Through, yeah. Yes, reviews. and yeah. so, so that's why and I don't the really people take listen to. Yeah, I don't. Which take is them unfortunate. Seriously. Well, they already, um, the dual, uh, there, there's a follow up novel. I think it's called Ronin. Uh, I don't know when it comes out, but I think it takes place directly after the episode. Hmm. So that's already one form of media that's carrying on this story. Um, but yeah, I mean, plenty of them set up, uh, future stories. Um, you could literally continue pretty much all of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, it'll be interesting to see like whether they lean more into animation. So, like, I'd be interested to see if they do kind of what uh, the DC DC does with their comics is that they'll make an animated movie, you know, um, about the you an know, adaptation, the, an adaptation. Basically, I would be super interested in that because there's plenty of novels that are you know great that no one will, people will never read, like great Star Wars content that certain people will never. Like Lost Stars. Get an, yeah, they'll never do anything with it or they'll never learn about it because they don't like reading books, you know? That would, well, that's a really good idea. Or even, I would love to see some of those. Or even like comic book runs. Yeah. Um, if like they the could, Va- all the Vader yeah, comics. Yeah, all the Vader comics. Yeah. If they could adapt those into um, an animated style. I would, uh, yeah. I think I'm, that would be pretty I'm cool. on board. Take my money. I'd love to see that. Yeah. You're welcome, Disney. Thank you. Oh, yes. You're welcome. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cool. So, yeah, visions. Yeah, I think watch it, it if you haven't. I think it lived up to my expectations. Um, I think that you know, you can't be, you can't set a huge bar, you know, a really high bar. So, um, from what we got, like, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with what we got. I knew there was going to be some that were yeah. way missing the mark for me, but most of them I was going to like. So that's kind of how it played out. So, yeah, I'll yeah. be interested to see what you guys think about the last one because you didn't like it, right, mm-hmm. at all. Well, or it I just it wasn't the least favorite. It was like my third or fourth okay. least favorite. There was nine. There's nine of them, right? Yeah, yeah, nine. I think I liked five. I haven't seen the last one, so I'm like right at five that I was like, oh, those five are good, and the other ones were. Eh. <laughs> I think a lot of people are yeah. gonna be that way, where there's gonna be like four to five, half of them probably that they're like, oh, I really like those, and the other mm-hmm. ones were like, I don't need them. Which I'm wondering if season two, I know they're not. Because it's subjective, but I wonder if they pick. Oh, these were the ones that were best that people seem to like the most. Let's continue these in another with another one in season two. That might be something interesting to go by, you know. And like you said, most of them end with open ended. Like, oh, you could tag more onto it. So I'm wondering if that's kind of one of the approaches they're taking is like, let's put these out there, see what people are saying, and then. Okay, yeah, we'll do a season two, but with following these stories. Yeah. I just, when I think about animes and stuff like that and the storytelling that you can achieve, 
Um, and like the benefits you have with anime over like live action and stuff like that is, you know, there's a lot of storytelling beats you can accomplish through multiple episodes and seasons yeah. of character yeah, building and, and drama, you know, and, 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 you know, so I, I think that even though we got animation, Japanese animation, that's cool, but I f- still feel like we don't have the full thing. So uh, that's where I would, I would beg Disney to do one season of one of them. I would say one season of every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. even watch the Rhapsody once for yeah. a season. A full season? Of no, no, no. Really? Oh <laughs> you don't have to watch it. There's plenty of Star Wars it's out there for, for everybody. That's fine. <laughs> a you full season it. of yeah. the Rhapsody one. Heck yeah, dude. That dude had a good voice. <laughs> no, not It's really. Joseph, Go- Joseph Gordon Levitt. Ooh. In your eye. I will say, I will say. <laughs> so if they do continue on and make something more with this, I would, I would also <laughs> ask Disney to work on maybe the scripting a little bit because some of the lines were a little wacky like they would say something and then they would repeat the same thing like i don't know it just felt like some of the the lines were kind of forced and maybe it was a translation thing or something i I don't know but it felt felt like anime to me yeah (laughs) it did yeah well no (laughs) you're not you're not wrong like a lot of stuff especially in the the twins one there was a lot of like on the nose like exposition dialogue that to me it was like yeah that's how a lot of anime what's is. the what was the line in the the elder oh no let me like, think about it i can't think <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that's not anime that's just like weird writing in my opinion but yeah exposition sure but like that's not exposition that was like filler yeah so yeah. I, if they could work on the scripting a little bit and the writing for those i think that'd be great um uh, and, and then i'd be a happy boy yeah, very happy boy. But yeah, that was super fun. I'm super glad they they did that. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I would say, yeah, check out the definitely check out the behind the scenes stuff. I'm a sucker for anything behind the scenes. Um, but like w- the guy for the duel was like talking about. He's like, yeah, I just basically sat down and got all my toys out, and I was like, pew pew pew, putting them together. <laughs> uh, and he's like, so that's how I got like some of the designs. Like, what yeah. was that? Uh, that Doug that's like in the little robot thing uh, that yeah. looked pretty sweet or using the really Trandoshan. Cool. Yeah. Um, so that was cool. Or even like the, the guy that voices Dan in the, yeah. in the duel. Uh, <laughs> I think he's like a theater actor or that some guy. type of musical. So anyway, he's like, t- he, Dan, <laughs> Dan's a he's, man. T- he's like voicing <laughs> the guy and he's like, like watching the video. And then he's like, he ignites the lightsaber uh, and he's like, oh, cool. It's blue. This is the first time I'm seeing that. Are the Russians spying <laughs> on us? Can you hear that? Yeah, might get that out of here. Someone's phone that. is on. <laughs> Jonah. That's super weird. Yeah. But it's cool to see yeah. him. Like he's That's like cool. su- he's like super excited to like see oh, the color of, of his lightsaber. He's like, yeah. oh, cool, blue. Yeah. He's like, nice. I hadn't seen it yet. Cool. Uh, but it's, yeah, the behind the scenes stuff's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's like not super long, so. It wasn't the Russians. It was the Doid. Mike, 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 Mike. That was weird. Um, cool. Yeah. So visions. <laughs> super, super pumped. I yeah. Check it out, guys. I think if I had to like humiliate it all together, I, I'd give it like an eight out of ten because it's just very entertaining. Yeah. You got you got all types of stories, all types of styles. I think it was great. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm a suck, and I'm just a sucker for animation. So yeah. I was nice. It was cool to see the different styles. Yeah. Um, yeah. oh, wow, they're so different, huh? Yeah. Like that Toby one, the T-O-B one? Yeah. That was like so different. Wow. It's all like cloudy and like spongy and it was really cool. Uh, yeah, I'd give it I'd give it eight. Eight Kurosawa's yeah. out of ten. Eight Kurosawa's. <laughs> yeah, eight out of ten. What, what do you about, guys? I, you I'd guys? probably give it an eight and a half. I gave it a, oh, yeah. I gave it a nine. I'm gonna oh, go, I'm gonna one up you. Oh, oh, I was going to go eight point five, but now you said eight point five. So I got to go nine. <laughs> Holy moly, that's good. I mean, probably, yeah, you said you liked all of them. I'll probably rewatch it uh, in Japanese just for kicks. Oh, oh, it was in Japanese. Yeah, you can watch them. Oh, in I should have done that. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'll oh. probably rewatch them with Uh-oh. subtitles. I think I did it wrong. Uh oh. You'll probably Uh-oh. enjoy it. You'll probably like it better. <laughs> we'll come back next week when we hours. actually right. I when think the I will Japanese like when we watch the those Japanese awkward version. lines, they might come off a lot better when, when you're reading. When you're reading. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's 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 more direct yeah. translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Well, you guys act and the like voices it's a might joke. be cool. No, I'm not. Do you know what translation is, Jonah? 
I'm not. No, I'm, it's not a, I know it's not a joke. So next week we'll come back with a follow-up review. Okay, about well, the Japanese I'll just version. say if I liked it better. That's it. That's, we don't have to put a title on it. <laughs> yeah, we do. Oh, boy. That's going to be the main topic for next week. Right. Japanese <laughs> visions. Japanese visions. We're moving on to the last thing. Um, last segment. Last segment today. And I'm I'm pretty excited because we actually have. I think we're all really excited. We actually have a review. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Is that oh, new? Is that new? Oh, I, that might new? have been. Oh, <laughs> I been thought someone was doing it. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's just been so long since we've heard, no. heard that <laughs> that we don't I'll remember. Tell you, I'll tell you what happened. The first time I recorded it, and the first time we did it, uh huh. Um, it wasn't the finish. I did state. it on a on a different mic, oh, and so man. after that, I had done a new one, a new version. Here's your BTS right here. Wait, <laughs> I did a new version, but we never played it because no one did a review. Oh, so it's been oh, sitting around. Oh, so this man. is old, but it's new. It's it's just the there's vocals added to it. Yeah, we heard. Harmony. So whoever yeah, we heard is, it, they get the <laughs> honor of having a right. new updated. <laughs> so, so here's the review. Um, the title is "I'm Leaving a Review." Thank you. Thank you. Person from R Dizzle 86. Let's go. Oh, so he was Dizzle. born in 1986. So. Yo, shout out to R Dizzle. <laughs> yeah. R Dizzle in the house. And um, <laughs> that was awesome. Two at the same time. Um, it's a three star review. Hey, fair. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll take, take it. We'll you know, take we'll it. take it. We'll take We're not perfect. It. it says great time Far with some it. interesting views on all the pop culture of movies and games. Really feel I'm right there with you guys as you talk about all the movie news. Man. You know what? You are right with right us. You're Dizzle. right here, R. Dizzle. <laughs> 86. That, I mean, that's the intent, right? It's, that's it, right. The intent is to be right in this room, this tiny little room. It's just us, us chilling, yeah, just talking right. about stuff. R. Dizzle. And we have another review. Wow. Oh, we got two. All right, this one's titled Nerd News, and this is a five-star review. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank this you so is, much. This is from John's Bigfoot. Okay. Let's go, Bigfoot of John. Right. Great auditory sensation. <laughs> Witty and informative. Two thumbs up from a dabbling nerd. Uh-huh. Oh. That was very poetic. <laughs> I, love I love that, that review. <laughs> that was great. That's a great yeah. review. Well, so, hey, so we finally got some reviews, so thank you. We thank appreciate you. that. We've been... Yes. Annoying you to give us some reviews. So, hey, if you're listening and, we're and you gonna haven't, continue to annoy you. If you're listening and you <laughs> haven't given us a review and you want to shout out on the show and us to read your review, leave us a review. It's pretty because we'll read them. <laughs> <laughs> if that was I will clear. promise you. <laughs> Is that's, that a threat? That's a problem. <laughs> So uh, yeah, thanks, fun. thanks for the for the reviews, guys. Yeah, uh, and I think or that, gals. That, that was that was kind of our main uh, one of our main reasons of doing the podcast because it was just four friends that wanted to hang out and just talk about nerd stuff that we like so i'm glad that it's coming across that way yeah we appreciate you guys listening yeah. hanging out with us <laughs> i mean it doesn't come out across like we're organized or anything like that. <laughs> there's no threat of that happening <laughs> That's, you know what? It's too corporate, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's too organized. It sounds scripted, <laughs> said no one ever. Very organic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for listening this week, guys. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Nerd Age Podcast. Uh, next week, I think we'll try to do a Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, spoiler talk, because I think the movie comes out. Oh, Thursday, this week. right? So be prepared for that. Sounds good. You know, I've been hearing good things. I know. I have to. We'll see. See if the things are true. (laughs) True. (laughs) I don't know. You never know. It's always kind of, yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll talk to you next week. See ya. Bye. Later. Bye.